My Harley Sport Glide is trying to kill me. I'll tell you all about it inside. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're enjoying the channel and the videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below, and check out the website revelatoralpha.com. So, in this video, I'm talking about the Sport Glide. Now, uh, I suppose that was a little bit of a misleading statement, really. Um, it's not trying to kill me, um, but it's certainly trying to injure me, that's for sure. Um, and it's not the bike. It's got nothing to do with the riding of the bike. So how's it trying to do it? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna show you. Look at that, look at that thing there. Oh, slice my finger open. Yeah, a little paper cup, well, actually a little bit deeper than a paper cup. Since I've owned this bike, I've scraped my knuckles, I've taken <laughs> nails off or half nails off. Um, I've sliced my fingers. Every time I wash the thing, I come away bleeding. Would you believe? Um, and I think it's actually partly because it's me. I always seem to be in a bit of a rush to actually wash the thing, get it clean and off I go. Part of it is because there's lots and lots of sharp edges on here. Now, um, if you look here, down on the exhaust, you've got here, you've got the bracket clamps as well, sort of sharp edges on there. Everything seems to be really sharp, right, right down here, there's a sharp edge there. You know, so you're washing it with a, with a rag or a sponge, and you just you slice yourself. Um, just here, the fins, you know, you just get something on there and you catch it at the wrong angle, slice away. So this bike has made me bleed, definitely. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is one, I just go slower. You go slower when you're actually washing this bike. Um, but I actually also popped down to the local Harley dealership. Now they've got a kind of a wash bay at the back and they've got the old Harley shed there, you know, the, um, the Davidson, the, the Harley uh, Davidson shed, the original shed um, mock up. And inside there, they've got all the cleaning products and everything like that which is, you know, it's pretty cool actually. Um, but I went and had a chat with them about the best ways to wash the bike and all that kind of stuff. And I did that even before I bought the bike and talk about different cleaning products and different, you know, different things here and there, what, what I should be doing, what I should be looking for. But ultimately, you know, they just showed me some sponges and some, um, some you know, brushes and everything like that, pretty basic stuff. But I think what I need is long handled brushes just to get into the, the the smaller parts of this and you know just be ultra aware of where all the little sharp edges are you know you look at this you think oh what is he on about you know it's only a little paper cut <laughs> but i tell you what once you've done it about two or three times you think i can't be bothered to wash it anymore i'd rather it be bloody dirty do you know what i mean anyway i just thought i'd bring this to you because last night this little would you believe this little paper cut here which i caught on here somewhere um oh look at that oh look at that is that rust no there we go Whew, i thought it was rust Whew. um which i caught on here actually gushed you know it's bleeding everywhere and i've got no sympathy from anybody really so i'm hoping i get a bit of sympathy from you uh probably not you know i'll just bring on the piss taking i know um but anyway just watch out for it because everywhere you go there does seem to be little sharp edges there now on here it's one of those things you know what i might get a little file and just file that down um just so it's a little bit smoother but there's definitely you know lots of little catch me outs there especially if you're trying to rush around and especially um if you're you know trying to get into the into the deep areas as well anyway this bike is brilliant i love the bike I'm not sure if me and washing bikes are suited. Hmm, what do you think? Right, let me know what you think. Let me know you've got any tips about washing your bike safely without getting injured. Um, yeah, so I'd rather not hurt my knuckles and my, my nails and my fingers anymore. Uh, right, catch you on the next video, whenever it is. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, well, check out the website as well. Leave loads of tips, leave loads of comments as well, and bring on the pain. All right, catch you on the next one. Ta-da. Revelator L.